Hi, in this video we will take a look at Cisco DNA Center templates. I am running Cisco DNA Center version 2.1.2.0. Cisco DNA Center version 2.1.x introduced new capabilities to Cisco DNA Center template editor, like the introduction of Jinja languages, import export functionalities of projects and templates. In this video, we will take a look at some of the new features which are available on DNA Center version 2.1.x. We will now navigate to template editor page. To do that, click on the hamburger menu, click on tools, template editor. Click on the plus icon to create a new project. We will name this project as template editor demo and click on add button. Once added, the new project is created on the left hand side menu. We will now go ahead and create a template under the custom projects we created. The templates which are created under these custom projects can be used for day n provisioning use cases. If we need to create a template for day 0 onboarding use cases such as plug and play, we need to create the templates under the predefined onboarding configuration project. To create a new template, click on the settings icon next to the project and select add template. In the new template form, Select the template type as either regular template or a composite template. When regular templates are single template, composite templates are a group of regular templates. The next step is to select the template language. The template language can either be Velocity or Jinja. In this video, we will select the language as Jinja. The next step is to provide a name for template. We will name the template as an interface template. The next step is to provide a tag for the template. We can either choose to provide a custom tag which we can create or we can create we can use the tags which are available as part of Cisco DNA Center. Tags can be used as a filter to search for templates or it can be used to provision a network device which are applied with the same tags. The next step is to select the device type. Click on the edit button. We can either choose to select a device family or we could choose a device type under the device family. In this video, I will select the device family as Cisco Catalyst 9300 series switches and click on back to add new template. Select the software type. I will select the software type as iOS XE and I will click on add button. Clicking on add button will create a template successfully, but this template cannot be used until it is committed. The next step is to create the template form and to save and commit this template so that we can provision our network device using this template. Other ways of creating a template are by clicking on the settings icon next to the project and selecting import templates. Alternatively, we could choose to import an entire project by clicking on the plus icon and selecting import project. Or we could create a template from the same option here. When we choose to create the template from this option, we need to explicitly mention the project name. It doesn't come implicitly like it was mentioned in the previous step. We will now go ahead and configure our template. For the simplicity of this video, I have already created the configuration. I'll just paste the config here. Once the config is created, we'll go ahead and save this configuration. This template configuration is gonna configure the interfaces with a certain config. But what is the configuration that is going to be applied on the interfaces? We have just mentioned interface and a variable called as access interface. And we have just mentioned something called as user port. The user port is a macro function. And this macro function is defined in the template called as macro library which we have included in our first line. So the include statement says that we can reuse the macros which are inside the project sample Jinja template and inside the template file macros library. If we take a look at the macros library, we could see that there are multiple macros created and we will be using the macro user port. And this user port macro will configure the interface with the access VLAN and the voice VLAN. We can now go ahead and save and commit this template so that we could go ahead and see how this template works. 
Before we can actually use this template, we need to define values for the variables, access interfaces and other variables which are defined in the macro library such as user VLAN and voice VLAN. To assign values for the variables and to assign what kind of values can be assigned to these variables, we need to define those in the form settings page. In order to access the form settings, click on the form editor icon on the right hand side corner. In the form editor page, we list out the variables which are defined on the templates. We'll select the interface variable and in the interface variable, I'm going to assign this variable to a source and to do that, I'm going to select the option bind to source under the content type. So once I select point to source, I'm going to assign values to this variable interfaces from a source called as inventory and the entity type is going to be interface and the attribute is going to be port name. What it means is the variable interface is going to get a value called as port name and the port name is going to be gigabyte one slash zero slash one or 10 gigabyte one slash zero slash x. So and the next step is the user VLAN. Since user VLAN is an integer or a string, I'm just going to leave the data type as string and text field. And you can either type in the display type as a single select or multiple select. And similarly for voice VLAN also, I'm going to leave it at the default and I'm going to go ahead and save this form settings. Let us now go ahead and simulate to see how our template works. To do the simulation, click on the simulation editor. Click on create simulation. Provide in a name, we'll call it as demo. And the next step is to click edit to select devices. And as you can see, it lists out the devices of family 9300 series. The reason being, we selected the device family in the template editor settings as 9300 series switches. That is the reason it is listing out the 9300 series switches and also as you remember we selected bind to source option and we selected the interface as a value to the variable uh, to the interfaces so once the device 9300 series switches is selected it lists out all the interfaces available on the 9300 series switch we can select an interface will provide values to the VLAN. Since we said it's a, a manual text string, we can type in a user VLAN value, let's say 100, and voice VLAN value, let's say 200. Now we can go ahead and run the simulation to see how it works. To run the simulation, click on the run button. As you can see, the interface is selected properly we selected uh, interface gigabyte 1 slash 0 slash 10 and it got applied properly and also all the switch port configuration for access VLAN and voice VLAN is applied to the interface. So we can make sure that our template works properly. We can now go ahead and provision this template onto our network devices. I am not going to cover how to provision these switches with templates in this video. I'm going to take it to an another video where I'll show in detail on how to tag the devices, how to provision the switches which are applied with tags and how to select interfaces and other variables. Thanks for watching.